Welcome to Architecture Corner and today we are talking about bimodal IT and the guest is Joachim Lindbom. Hi Joachim. Hello. So welcome to Architecture Corner. Thank you. There's have been a lot of discussions about bimodal IT on LinkedIn and there's a lot of different opinion if it's a good thing or not. Could you explain a little bit what it is about? Looking at bimodal or uh, multimodal, because you can talk about more than two layers, uh, essentially goes down to the uh, thinking that different parts of the system landscape need quite different paces. And the reason for that is that part of the landscape might need high speed, high agility, high change rate, versus other parts actually it's more important to have stability, predictability and data quality. And it's not that these kind of systems can't be agile, that they can't be fast moving, they could be, but provided the situation we have today that you, you have a problem with, or a situation rather, where many systems, older systems, have don't have the, the fundamental uh, abilities around them in order to be able to change. So the situation in most organizations is that today the slowest part is the slowest common denominator. That is what's setting the pace. And in order to break that, you need to come up with ways of actually allowing a faster pace, uh, allow, allowing a faster change rate in part of the system. And that is essentially what, what Bimodal is about. But those persons saying that you should have Agile for everything, why not? Well, Agile as a concept can be applied on any technology, it can be applied on any kind of a system. So, so far, so good. Same with DevOps, same with different kinds of automation and so on. There is nothing in the technology per se that is prohibiting that. The problem most likely is that looking at a big company, it could, could be a manufacturer, it could be a bank, it could be whatever. In reality, and that is always been true for IT, it will always be true into the future. We'll always have different systems with different ages. And as system ages, you get different kinds of, of lack of quality. And the things like testability, the things about automation, the things about DevOps and so on, even though it theoretically could be applied even to a mainframe system in COBOL, it can be absolutely. The effort of doing that is way too high. So looking at the, the the, the amount of work given from both from a financial point of view but also from a time point of view, the time it would take to implement this, this kind of uh, measures around the system is way too big and way too long in order to, to actually allow for it. So essentially I would say that bimodal is a way of having, uh, it's some kind of compromise. You, you accept the fact that you can't have these old systems in the way that, that you would like them to be, but at the same time you come up with a way that you're, they are not totally blocking your ability to change. So it, it's a compromise. So, uh, so it's a huge difference between smaller startups and huge firms that are very dependent on IT. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, essentially, even though a, a small startup might have a percentage of its operations is much, much higher is based on IT, that might be one thing. But the, the problem is that uh, when a company grows, what we normally would see is that the number of systems and that by itself is not a problem, but a number of dependencies, and dependencies could be an integration, it could be a technology dependency, it could be a process dependency, it could be an information dependency, or whatever, the number of dependencies will always grow exponentially. There will be an ex exponential growth of the number of connections, and that is what is killing the ability to change. So you're pro bimodal or multimodal? I'm after the uh, pro multimodal as a, a, a sensible way of handling the situation. It might not be uh, the, the actual solution to think like it should be. Theoretically, as you said, you could apply whatever measures on whatever system, yes. But in reality, in the world I'm, I'm living in, you don't have infinite uh, money, you don't have infinite time, and therefore the compromise would be that accepting the situation and, and allowing things to have different pace actually is a very good compromise. Thank you very much for viewing this episode of Architecture Corner. I know there is a lot of people with different opinions on bimodal IT and you're very welcome to give your comments. Thank you and see you next week.